during the weekdays, the casual, no people around Harajuku back street. Uh, we're gonna head over to Nibun no Ichi. It's like this low key vintage archive shop. Let's go. You go into this little secret alley. When then this shop is super super secret. You guys see me and JC go to this shop in my early vlogs last year. I'll reveal the place. Like, why would anyone make a shop here? Like, and the first time when I was going here, it was so hard to find. Right, baby? Yeah. But now we're almost here. If you see this silver shining aluminum foil, it's right here. However, I think it's closed. Okay, so the place opens from four. So we're gonna visit back at four. Maybe. If we're still around the area. So we're just gonna go to the juice place right now. It's close from here. So they got the Isimiyake rocks here. Some samples. They got a, like, like a lot of various price points as well. Like the super rare ones, uh, it's not gonna come cheap, but there's also their unique findings in their own collections. So if you look carefully, you might get something out of it. This one's a nice Issei vest. With the, wow, this is a very thick, very thick uh, Riri zippers, size 10. Very heavy because of the leathers. I think they use a very heavy one. It's very good shape actually. I'm gonna try this on. a shirt right now but fit quite nice shape is super nice kind of like the iris jacket also from visiting the iris iris lining vest uh, Color's a little bit loud, but... Here's a good stuff from now, there's the rafts. The rafts here, to the corner, right there. What's this jacket actually? This one's nice. Yoji? I'm gonna try this one. Okay, I think I like this jacket actually. I'm not normally a Yoji fan, but this one's kind of like that Japanese school uniform vibe. I think. Kind of has like this inner pocket where you can. It's like yesterday when we saw when we saw the kid in the subway. Yeah, it is. Huh? Right? Like and I was wondering, wow, that's like a he has a zippers on his clothes, but it was actually like these little, little clipping. clippings where you can like make it on hold. How is this? Is it actually it's actually fresh? No. I think it does look a bit like a school uniform, 
way. Let me get. Let me let me straighten my hair a little. <laughs> Cause you look too much like a Maltese. <laughs> I look I look too much like. A, <laughs> yeah, but it's not super fresh. I think if you're uh, into like these kind of all black Yoji styles, it could work for you. Size fit nice. Maybe should I take this? It's not really much of your style. Are you really asking me? Yeah. Well, I don't think I'll wear it so much though. But it's just interesting. How do I go? You know I like uniforms. You do? I do. If you go upstairs, there's the treasures. But a lot of things has sold since I last came. Because there was a lot of rats, rat bombers, and etc. I just stepped into the archive. Wow. Dude, what is going on, Giz? What's, where are we? Second floor here. Here we got here we got like undercovers, Dolce, some vintage pieces, Catherine Hamnet, Dior's, uh, like general research, uh, JPG. So here, like he, this part is not like the price is quite reasonable. So. You can look, you can, if you dig through here occasionally, you'll be able to find some things. Oh, this is a nice, nice color wool breeze jacket. What is that? Let me just take off my coat. It's like, kind of like too flashy. Some breeze jacket. It's nicely cropped, right? Oh, this looks nice. Got some capitals here, and let's see what else. Grease, grease. This grease too. I'm not really sure what this is, but Balenciaga. area normally like Val has a better eyes for finding things than me but she's holding the camera now so <laughs> so I'll have to search on my own uh, 
So baby, if you see anything cool, please tell me, okay? Don't keep it to yourself. Okay, but I might not say it. <laughs> just, just tell me with your eyes, okay? Okay. A nice faded pair of Dior jeans. I used to wear a lot of Dior jeans back in high school. Like 10 years ago. Val was like in elementary school then, right? When I was in high school. Yeah. Was a nice pair of jeans. It's like 200 bucks. Fairly priced. Ooh. This one's a nicely waxed pair of skinny. This costs, I think it's 17.5. Dior is either 17.5 or 19 or was it 21? Yeah. Oh, this one's the stretch one, huh? Lampos. I don't really like Lampo zippers. Huh? I think lamp Lampo is the worst among among the zippers, I think. And then here we got some Dolce's. So this one could be a nice fit. Right. Do, you, do you wish to try it on? Um, okay, so moving on. This is another Dolce trench coat. Uh, tea coat. Another Dolce jacket. They use a lot of hardware. Like, personally, I'm not, like, so much of a big fan of too many hardware. But I know there are people who like it as well, so... Very masculine design. This one got cute colors. Maybe it's ladies. Could be. Seems to have smaller waist than others. Yeah. Okay, this is a Prada. It's quite big. Huh. It's quite big. Not so bad. And this is the part that I like about Japan is just uh, there's just so many things to go through, and it's like you have, and it's either like your choice if you want to go through it or not. While in Korea or like I guess I assume other parts of the world. It kind of lacks that, so it's just a blessing to be here in Tokyo always to go through these stuff. Because I still believe like shopping offline is still, whether you buy it or not, just experience of finding vintage or finding archive clothes or just looking at like high-end clothes in general each and every day just elevates your way of uh, looking at clothes, uh, feeling what's well constructed, what's a good quality and what's not. So I think throughout the years of me living in Tokyo for the past 10 years naturally just helped me understand a lot of clothes, I guess. So I still got a lot to learn, but Armani, yeah, you guys should look into it. They got some nice low-key good pieces. Milanona likes Armani. Milanona? I'm not a very tall person, but beware in Japan, it's, everything's very low, so... Um, this one's a nice jacket, so I, I'm, I'm really into white lining zippers these days. Uh, that's why I came out with the white line zippers for the grey cargoes. 
and there's and maybe a secret one that I might not reveal yet. But this one's nice too. Avrix. It's very similar to my Lemur jacket, the Christopher Lemur jacket before, right? Yes, sir. Ooh, this one's fresh. This one's fresh. Detachable shoulders to make it into a vest. This one's nice. The raglan cut. It's only like a hundred bucks. That was okay, right? This one's general research, also known as uh, mountain research these days. You might have seen my friend JC wearing them a lot. A very good brand. Oh, what's this? This is general research too. Very nice. Very nice details. Not like a fisherman's. I guess it's a fisherman. And then we got some Avrix. It's Avrix, right? Avrix vintage jackets. Nikon likes these a lot. Nikon likes these a lot. And I guess this is another general research. Not really sure. Nope. Something this jacket. Okay, so um yeah. Some undercovers, if you like undercovers here. And there's so much to look. Beautiful prisoner's pants. Um, but yeah, so this, if we move on to the next room, it's a little bit, if you're, if you're into a little bit more of the funky types, here's where old Walter pieces, and vintage Vivian Westwood pieces, kind of more like these playful graphics, also the Harajuku back in the days, Hyoma. I know a lot of people are looking for these right now too. Yes, so. Uh, yeah, wow. One of these Versace's here too. Oh, this is a Walter piece. This itself is a Walter piece. Kelma here. Uh, it's very, it's very, very specific people. Not necessarily my taste particularly, but so this is how they segment their parts. So very well curated. Yeah. I'm not gonna be bothered to try on the rafts because I'm not gonna buy it anyways right now. So, but. If you are a baller, feel free to come here and buy it. They do have an online shop as well. Or if you're ever in Tokyo, if you just want to still have a look around, you can try on these pieces easily. The owner's super good friend of mine, very chill dude. So shout outs to him for letting me give him a tour of his curation and of his shops. So. Like I said, it's quite difficult to find and come here, uh, but if you ever watch, if you ever have happened to watch this video, just tell them you're a friend of Gizmo and he'll take care of you. Peace. This is for your B-roll.